basically said something about like DBs not getting the money that they deserve. Like yeah, basically yeah. it's the hardest position. Well, one of the hardest positions in the NFL, like and receivers getting all the money they're getting and DBs not really getting that, that same market value. I know that was two questions asked, but like talk about the Eagles defense and then get into the question about the DBs making that. Well, type of I'm game. happy we got CJ Garner back because he he's got that attitude, that Philly attitude we need. Yes, he sir. got that, and we need that type of swagger. Right. And he's a hell of a player at that. That's one. And I, you know what's crazy? I didn't really like him at first. Why? When he's with the Saints, I ain't really rock Why? with bro like got that. A, got a, got a shit snap. He got slapped, and I was like, yo, because he talk a lot. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I couldn't really sit. Now he was a good player. I always remember. I'm like, yo, because I didn't really know him. He was younger. Right. And I was like, dang, yo. Uh, he talk a lot, but he kind of lock up. Yeah. Then I seen ball snuffing, pop, pop, pop. Yeah. I'm thinking, yo, he about to whooping. Right. And that didn't happen. So when that didn't happen, I was like, yo. But then as I get to know him, he's the type of dude that's getting in everybody's head. He plays extremely physical, right. talks a lot, gets you out your game, and he's a baller. So if he probably seen my man on the streets, he probably did something. You think so? In the, yeah, but if in the white lines, he probably playing the head game. So now like, I kind of know who he is. I've been watching when we had him in Philadelphia. And when he left, we really, really missed him. Right. He's easily, in my opinion, he a top three safety Safe in the league. Because right he could cover. He actually can cover. And he can actually hit. Right. A lot of dudes can't do like what Chauncey can do. For sure. So I'll give him that. And then he is right, though. Like, I do think that they need to start paying little DBs a little bit more money. Because that's hard. the first hardest position to do in football is quarterbacks. And second is corners. You think, you is think corners. corners the second? Oh, my God. <clears throat> You're playing backwards. Right. right. And then you got guys like you running around four threes, four twos. You got to cover that. Well, me hearing that whole video took away what I was just going to talk about. I was going to talk about C.J. Garner-Johnson being, you know, a top three DB, which I definitely agree. And, um, yeah, LaShawn McCoy brought up something. I always forget about that C.J. Garner-Johnson was the guy. I think it was Javon Mims or some Wims. And CJ got his head, and he literally went up to CJ Gardner Johnson, started slapping him, this and that. And CJ really didn't do nothing about it, but CJ did respond when he seen this. Like, yeah, I got slapped like a little, he used the girl emoji with the laughing emoji. But he said, I happened to see him, and um, look, basically, look where he at and look where I'm at. I'm not even sure if Jawan Wims is in the league. I'm not even 100% sure, but CJ Gardner Johnson right now is being paid like a top DB in this league, and he's still doing his thing. You know, I, I like C.J. Gardner-Johnson, and that particular reason is why I like C.J. Gardner-Johnson. Not the fighting and the slapping and, you know, him going to have fans, but he know how to get in these dudes' head. Remember, he got into it with Zach Ertz, got in his head. Then you go back where he was with the Saints. Javon um, Mims, whatever his name is, was completely out of the game because C.J. Gardner-Johnson got his head. That's what C.J. do. That just is what it is. He's going to get in your head. He's going to grill you. He's a guy you would love on your team, but he's a guy you'll hate if he wasn't on your team. So trust me, I got a little bit of that. But he went to Detroit and was going you know, back and forth with the fans and talking about certain things. Ah, man, I, I need to step back from this guy, man. He, he's just a little too much. Well, he's back in Philly. We love him. We definitely love him. So that's what CJ do. But, again, LaShawn McCoy is right about CJ as far as his accolades. Like he's a top DB. He do what he's supposed to do. And he he adds a lot to this game. And another topic they talk, talked about is that DBs being paid – and C.J. Garner Johnson believe D.B. should, you know, make that upper echelon with wide receivers. I would say I disagree. While I do agree it's the second, well, yeah, like the second hardest besides quarterback, of course. I think D.B. is second. And they play backwards. Sean McCoy is right about that. They literally play backwards, and you got a guy like Deshaun Jackson running a 4-2-4-3, and they got to catch up with this guy. But it's all about selling tickets. If I asked a casual fan, like a, a person that just watched football here and there, you know Jalen Hurts? Absolutely. Do you know C.J. Gardner-Johnson? Um, possibly not. Do you know Queen I Met You? Possibly not. Do you know Slay? Possibly not. Do you know Avanti Maddox? So it's all about selling tickets. Wide receivers? I can ask somebody, do they know Devontae Smith or A.J. Brown? Absolutely. Those are the guys that sell the tickets. Those are the guys you see, like, pictures of. 
So it's, it's really hard to sell tickets on a, a, a DB. Like Sauce Gardner is very popular, but he's not as popular as a Aaron Rodgers or he, he'll never be as popular as like a Jamar Chase, again, a AJ Brown or a CD lamb. So it's all about ticket sales and Jersey sales and what ticket sales and Jersey sales tell the numbers and the people quarterbacks, wide receivers, those are the Ferraris. Like it it just is what it is. So I think it comes down to that. Who is selling tickets and who is doing a thing because you got to even think about it today running backs besides like like saquon who else who else is really like popular cmc uh, a lot of running backs are not known i know josh jacobs like i know the dogs like who the good guys but I'm trying to get in a casual fan's mind and that's why they don't get paid as much. And then the workload of a running back is not the same. So I'm just using them as an example, like why DBs probably don't get paid as much because nobody cares who's guarding a wide receiver. They just see number 11 on the back of the jersey, A.J. Brown, or number six of Devontae Smith making these spectacular catches. And this is everybody who they see on the posters, pictures. So it's hard. it's hard to sell a DB. Sadly, it is, and they got the sat uh second hardest position. So um, that's why I think they don't get paid. Not saying they don't deserve it or anything, but this thing is a business and it comes down to money most of the time. And two DBs are just not going to hold out. That that's the main thing too. They just be like, you know what? We not accepting that. And they pull something like how the running backs did. Because remember, the running backs just came together at some point. Like, now nah, we need more money. DB's got to do the same thing, and maybe they will, maybe they won't. I don't know. I don't know the DB's mind. Are they more divided, or are they together? I don't know. Because the wide receivers, I could say they somewhat divided, but who who cares? They get their money. I see they trying to start a summit to come together, but um, they get their money. They they are the Ferraris. They, they don't bad bad chick in the club that's who the wide receivers are and if you look at the dbs like uh who are these guys so me watching the game i love the defensive bats because again i know how hard their jobs are but the casual fan don't care they just want to see their best wide receiver make plays get yards and that's why you can't even hit the ferraris anymore you can't even hit them anymore so that lets you know who the league is valuing because, again, they look at the numbers, ticket sales, jersey sales. Think about it. When Tom Brady went down and got that knee injury years ago, shoot, you can't hit quarterbacks the same anymore because it's like, hold on, wait. We need these quarterbacks the whole season. So that that's how it goes. And now they're looking at wide receivers like that, like, hold on, wait. You can't hit – this Justin Jefferson on the post route across the middle like that. We need him to sell the tickets, to sell the jerseys. And we need him the whole season. That's how the NFL look at it. Those are their money makers. This is what it is. The defense get treated like crap for some reason. I was shout out to the defensive line. They're getting their money. But the DB should definitely get their money. But I understand why. I understand why they don't get the money like a wide receiver. But hey, man. What do you think of how do you feel, man, uh, the C.J. Garner Johnson thing, saying he got slapped, but he did respond to it, said what he had to say. And how do we feel about DBs being underpaid? Should they get paid more? But this is Eagle Al, man. I'm up.